Let's make a glass teacup with a frog in it. Put a sketch on the canvas, extrude it, and see that manipulator up there? You can tweak it. So give the top a taper. Orbit underneath, hide the sketch, and then fill at the bottom. Orbit back up, shell out the top, drag a thickness, then select both edges, hold the shift key down, and fill it that. Now we need a handle. I'm going to put it on front view in orthographic because this makes it easier to sketch with. Then I'm going to drag a cube in so that I can sketch on it. Activate the spline and then draw an artsy outline for the handle. Delete the cube. We no longer need it. And now we need to give it volume with a sweep operation. But first we need a path. So we'll cruise a 2D primitive and snap it to the teacup. Scale it down and move it. The path, which is that spline we made, has to touch the profile. So it takes some finessing to move it. Go to a top view, which makes it easier to see. And then move the path so that it touches the circle. Now in the Construct menu, pick Sweep, Profile, and Path. It cut because the spline was intersecting the cup a bit. But if you just choose New Solid, that fixes that. And there's your lovely handle. Well, it would look better if the profile were smaller, but we'll work with that. Now let's insert an STL file I found on the Thingiverse into it. Go to Insert. That takes you online where you browse your computer and find the STL file. When you bring it in, it will go in at the origin, and it will always take some finessing. You'll have to rotate it and scale it like I'm doing here, and then move it into place. It doesn't snap, so you have to use the Move tool. And again, going to a top view makes this easier. This needs to be scaled down. STL files can be scaled, moved, and rotated. And sometimes you can use the Combine com um, menu on it. That is um, Join and Subtract. So now we've got it in there. Finesse it some more. Wouldn't this make a fun kid's cup? And finally, let's put some material on it. Let's make it clear glass. Then highlight the frog and make it a gold color. And there you have it.